channel, my name is Titlar and we are back in Pro Cycling Manager 23, the Pro Cyclist mode and the career of Titlar for who is in his last season trying to fulfill the secondary objectives that he proposed to do in his career of cycling career which is to become world champion and winning at least two more monuments because we are not registered to, to race the Liège Baston Liège I think no we are we are eligible to to win the three remaining monuments this season the Vlandren classic the Lies Baston Liege and the Giro de Lombardia so let's see what we can do but now we are in Australia where we are doing fantastic we started this tour of Australia in the last episode and we won three out of three first stage winning in the Bud sprint second stage winning with some lead out here 16 seconds and finally the third stage winning with our teammate Goblet coming in second so in this episode we are going to finish this tour with two sprint stages that I'll bring you the final 20 kilometers of it and of course the last one a hilltop stage which I'll bring you the full race and Still in this episode, we are going to race the Geelong Oceano race as well. So I'm going to bring you the final kilometers of that as well. But let's get started with this fourth stage. And probably we are the favorites here. Indeed, we are 153 kilometers of it. So I'm going to do a cut here in the loading and I'll be back for the final 20 kilometers to the line. 20 kilometers to the line of this fourth stage and we are about to catch those two men that went into the breakaway for all day so no danger here so we can speed this up and get into kilometer nine where we are going to set our sprint train good 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 we our team almost didn't do any the work here in this stage we relied on the other teams and the other teams are working hard probably to give us the fourth victory here in this tour we have a flawless tour so far getting three out of four races uh, wins on three stages so that's fantastic three out of three and McNulty or mother McNulty okay McNulty is a better rider in terms of flat, so I'm going to use him after Mother, starting with Mother. Let's go to this side of the while road. The pack is getting close to the finish line. Everybody seems clear. to agree that the stage will be won in a sprint. Good, good, good. Eight kilometers, let's give McNulty the gel. The teams are working hard to put their leaders on the front, but our team is too strong for them. Mother is, is done. Let's use Goblet as well with the gel. Mother drop to my wheel. In the meantime, we can give Einhorn the gel as well. Don't go into the, that side. Don't be blocked. Don't be a fool. The riders okay. are entering the last gel five to of the stage. Very good. Very good lead out here by McNulty. Then we are going to use Goblet and everything is gone for the other teams. Here comes Goblet, setting up the sprint train for Henhorn and then Titlafort. Very good. So we can even use this with Titlafort just to be safe that we are not getting screwed by any blocking. Go, 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 play. go, 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 go. Oh, the other teams are trying. So let's sprint with Henhorn. Goblet can sprint as well, why not? Good, 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 good lead out by Goblet, by Henhorn, sorry. And he's gone, so Titlafort must do the remaining work, and it's over. Another victory to Titlafort, four out of four. Superb Spectacular. Victory. Can we get those four or five seconds that we got to the line? Probably power. not, this is considered this a flat a stage. So probably no gap is going to be 
awarded at the end but the big man came in for the fourth victory out of four stages yeah this is becoming too easy too easy for Titla Fort but let's hope we can secure this title because we never won this tour of Australia and let's hope this is the first time that we do so okay no gaps as expected but two, 10 more seconds to Pitcock putting him on almost one minute and we are going to have another sprint stage so I'm expecting to see one minute on the dot after this the, the next stage so let's get on to it okay I was faster than the game okay now 148 kilometers we are the favorites and again I'm going to do a cut here in the loading and I'll see you guys in the final 20 kilometers to the line 30 kilometers to the line guys and I've brought you to this stage a little bit sooner to 30 kilometers to the line because we've got this Kirby Hill before the line it's the most difficult part of this stage despite this stage being raced very hard because of course the breakaway didn't satisfy anyone in the pack okay I want in weather to fall back to my wheel as we are reaching now this Kirby Hill still two three guys up front and the pack is working hard to catch them Ben O'Connor one of the guys Fisher Black very good riders here working which means at 85 we are dropping this climb features some dreadful percentages. which is worrisome to be honest but we have time to recover now on this flat a bit yeah and we recovered it all for sure just before the flat even so let's go into the 9 kilometer mark where we have there a little bit of a uphill okay 9 kilometers let's set our sprint train let's use this let's go into Henhorn Henhorn can go 99 going to Goblet Goblet 99 as well and probably McNulty and McNulty alongside Mr. Warlop and probably we'll get yet another victory here hopefully and we are too far the down here with the Warlop. Are not out for a breakaway, so the stage Let's will hope the guys can break free. Because there's too many legs along the way. Seven kilometers. Let's stop this and give Goblet the gel. I want to be on the right side, man. So Titla Fort can get to us as he did. Very good. Warlop is gone. Let's give Einhorn the gel. McNulty now go probably 95 because we are in a uphill. And it's going to be tough for everyone if McNulty is working hard. Way harder than he should. Good. The riders are entering the last five kilometers of the stage. Five kilometers gel to Titla Fort. Let's keep 99, 95 until Titla Fort can join us. As he is. Good. Let's hope we can recover a little bit of red that he lost. Go, 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 McNulty. Now let's use Goblet. McNulty can drop to my wheel. Go, 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 Goblet. Let's use this with it, La Forte. We are getting blocked like hell. It's not kind to us this stage, I think. Let's sprint with Henhorn as well. Let's hope he can break free. Good, he could. Okay. So, I think we have this in the back once again. And let's go to Tlafort. 
Indeed. This in the back. Five out of five. Only one stage left to do. And we got this truly in the bag if we are able to control the breakaway for the last stage which I'll bring you the entire stage yes six, uh, five out of five can we do six out of six and do a perfect tour here a full house let's see if we can and winning for the first time this tour one minute to Thomas Pitcock as expected points wise we are truly dominating as well with 15 points only on the line we are safe to say that if we finish this tour we at least take this jersey home but of course we want both jerseys and the other things we don't care too much to be honest now almost two minutes goble here good very good let's get on to the last stage of this tour of australia and it's the Wilonga Hill stage, always tough, 150 kilometers, fortunately is very short. So, with some good racing condition, we should be able to get this as well. And as I said previously, I'm going to bring you the entire stage. So I'm going to do a cut here in the loading and I'll see you guys in the full race. Hello and welcome. And here we are, final stage route. of this so tour of Australia. We got a plus three. <laughs> oh. must be when unbearable. we needed more, we've got that plus three. Fantastic. Because this Wilonga Hill that we are riding two times, it's going to be hard. It's going to be very hard. And that plus three is fantastic, giving us 78 on the hills. Unfortunately, no sprint. But. 78 on the stamina 77 on resistance all good things here 72 on uh, 80 on the, the the flat rating all good things this is gigantic so mcnulty or mother mcnulty then mother probably will be my protector on 75 nope you weren't not cobley is going to be my protector so 77, 77, 75, okay, I don't think mother will even be in my worked force or my primary workforce. It's going to be Warlop, my water boy, for sure. And we are set. We can start this with Moniki working at the front of the pack always nice He's to see making a break for it will it prove to be too Let's early our guys here I don't want to be Moniki the worker okay but we need the other guys to work Attack! that's for sure let's put them on colors. 65 for the time being and let's speed this along let's see if 65 is enough to keep a healthy distance there are two, 10 men up there which is nothing to scuff about on such a sm short stage we have to be mindful okay three minutes which means I will up my tempo with my secondary force to 70 good let's get going and I'll use one of my guys here in the primary work train to fetch me water and it's going to be probably Monique. No it's not. It's going to be Enhorn. Okay. Enhorn fetch me water. Okay. Let's keep going. Ooh, the other teams are working. Okay. I like to see it. Other teams helping us. So let's put ourselves at 65 to be safer and our boys at 85. Okay, good. Let's use this. Let's put our secondary team working at 75. 5, not 6. Good. And the tempo has... Bronze, um, the tempo has, has 
risen so much that the breakaway is now only 1 minute and 39 seconds ahead which is great to see we are keeping at 65 no need to up our effort good 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 keeping our boys at working at 75 should be more than good ok let's up our effort now to 75 as well good should be enough to get us through and back into the front as we did good 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 approaching the Wilonga hill with only 48 seconds behind let's hope he has helped out quickly let's keep our cool here and reach the 50 kilometer mark with no issues and then i'm going to set myself at 85 going to use this for the final time and send warlop or mother let's send mother and let's put warlop in my will on McNulty's will in this case because the other teams are working hard and they are going to catch the breakaway for sure no doubt in my mind mother is coming with water great we won't need any more water for the remaining of the stage which is great to see man great to see good now mother wants to work and why not letting him work nobody's working really so let's mother let mother work and let's put warlop working as well why not let's help your teammate The breakaway is in arm's reach, so I'm not too worried, to be honest. 57 seconds. Almost there. Okay, reaching for the first time this Wilonga hill, which we can see is so steep, man, so steep but I think we should be able to cross this with no issues Warlop is working alongside Mother but they are getting away <coughs> which is worrisome so let's set our sprint train right away and you go into Goblis Goblet is going into Einhorn after all. Einhorn going into Monike. Monike going 85. Go, 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 go. Drag us along. Go, 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 go. Very good. Now we should be more than able to get the breakaway as we are using already our sprint train. And Monique won't survive for long, so let's give him the gel. To make him try to survive a little bit. The gel won't be uh, soon enough, unfortunately. But we are catching the break. Monique is gone, so let's use Einhorn. Monique can do whatever you want. Don't, uh, don't block me. Team leader is falling behind. Whatever you want, but don't block me, mate. Okay, good. Now Einhorn is working. Trying to get those guys. There's an attack in the leading group. Some riders were not getting their is trying to go. Which means this is going to be very tough to deal with. Okay, but we are dealing with it. Good, very good. Let's give Enhorn the gel as well. See if he can survive a little bit longer. As we can slow our pace down to 75 here with him. See if he can survive a little bit longer. The breakaway is almost in arm's reach, so 70 even. We don't need to go so hard. 
Now with the gel, it should, it should survive at least to the downhill, hopefully, and he can recover a little bit on it, hopefully. Let's see if that's the case. Yes, now we are in the downhill. Good, the very good, boys. The riders have just very, the very good. Road sign. 14 kilometers. You are in such a good spot here. Such a good spot. We can go 75 with Enkhorn trying to get him the in a better position. Close. The riders just passed the 10 kilometers road sign. Okay, you are gone. So let's use Goble. And Goble going probably 80. On the side of the road. You can do whatever you want. Cobbly with the gel. Let's go 85 then. I want to be up front. With nobody contesting me. Good, good, good. We can slow pace down now. To 80. McNulty with the gel as well. We're into the last five kilometers. Titlafort with the gel. Let's use this with Titlafort. Let's go 85 now. Final five kilometers. As we are reaching the wee longer hill, let's go 90 now and use some red. And make life very miserable for everyone that is following us. Okay, some attacks are going, so let's go. 95, who is going? Again, Tulet, Morgado, Pitcock is he's here as well. So that's not a good sign. But Goblet is doing a fantastic job getting through all of them. Only a few riders Goblet are capable still of pushing. The very fast pace up front. Okay, good. Now let's use Mr. McNulty, Goblet can do whatever he wants, hopefully keeping here in the pack. Let's try to give the 6th victory here to Titlar. Fort. Can he hold? Can he hold? Let's sprint. Let's make McNulty be in my will. Yes! 6 out of 6! McNulty could win this, but... Giving the 6th victory to like Titlafort and a good lead the to today. the rest of the, the gang. Up their rear have made it through sheer yes, willpower. what a perfect tour of Australia. In fact, ever. most perfect it was impossible. 6 stages, 6 victories. Yes, a perfect tour for the first time in our career. Very good, perfect tour here in Australia with only 83% fitness but we were lucky to get that plus 3 on this last stage which was the most difficult one of the entire tour look at the big man look at the big man crossing for the sixth time first the line good 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 what a big arm Mr. Titlafort has Big legs, big arms, big height. And even got 4 seconds to McNulty. That's stupid because McNulty was in our wheel. 20 seconds to Pitcock. Meaning, general wise, McNulty ended up in second place. Goblet dropping 3 positions here, but hopefully he retained the uh, Young Riders. I think he did. So we did very well. Points wise, of course, we take home this with six victories in six stages a perfect score mountain we take home the mountain as well tied with felix hoffman so three jerseys for us that's surprising young riders goblet take it and team wise it's ours so we take home every jersey here available on this tour of australia so a perfect tour all around to end this episode on a high but we are still missing one race to do 
the Geelong Oceania race. So it's one week away. I'm going to do a cut here while we wait and simulate the races between this and the Geelong Oceano race. And I'll be back for the Geelong Oceano race race preview. Final 20 kilometers of this Geelong Oceana race uh, stage. And despite Some our plus one and being the, the favorite on paper for this race, we are not the leaders. The team is working for Caleb Ewan, so we cannot use anyone to nullify that break or something. And I don't know how I'm going to do in the sprint, to be honest. Probably I'm going to f to follow Caleb Ewan. We've got 15 Probably. kilometers to the finish line. Yeah, I think that's the right thing to it's do. Okay, let's advance. Let's put speed this time a little bit more. The pace has slowed somewhat. Okay, six it's favorites up ahead. Team, but I'd bet on some sort of tactical choice. Okay, can I follow Caleb Ewan now? Probably I should, right? And off he goes. Our He's giving it yellow one is go. not that happy. Ten kilometers remaining. This race has been raced hard, and to be fair, this parkour was not that easy. Not hard, but not that easy. While the pack is getting close to the finish line, everybody seems to agree that the stage will okay, be won in a sprint. in the right spot, I think. Following here, Caleb Ewan. Good. Wow, that's one attack that's going to leave a good few in its wake. Good, good, good. Guys are going, trying to attack from afar. It's their only shot. Five kilometers remaining. Five kilometers gel to me. That's the end of the breakaway. The pack Hot gave them no doing chance. Well. Okay, three kilometers. I'm going to use this and keep following Caleb Ewan. But now with the rather name, the sneaking ability, so I don't get blocked. A fall just took place in the pack. Good. Several riders are on the ground. Okay, Morlier is on the right spot. So let's try to follow him. Team Morlier is sprinting. So let's sprint as well. Come on, 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 come on. Yeah, we should have sprinted a little bit early. Caleb really Ewan with the win. A so it was a very good bet by our manager. We ended up in second. Yeah, but a very good bet here from the manager. Caleb Ewan doing a fantastic win with that plus two on sprint. Yeah, he was tough to beat today. And he proved that the manager should bet on him as they did very good very good indeed overall very good episode not perfect because we couldn't win this last race but that perfect score on the tour of australia will be the talk for ages so second place here not bad not bad not bad not bad at all which means now this episode is all over the next one, we are going to the Tour uh, or the Giro d'Adriatico. Let me just see my... Yeah, we have tiredness, only 2% of tiredness, so we can do this. We can race the Giro d'Adriatico. It's a, uh, a race that we never won as well. And we shouldn't because it has mountains on it. So no chance for us. Yeah, that mountain in particular. But we can try to fight for the points jersey at least. And so the plan for the next episode is going to be... This is a seven stage tour. The most difficult mountains are oh, 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 the second and the fourth one. So I'll divide this in the first three stages. And then on the next episode I'll bring you four stages. So the plan is... First stage, I'm going to bring you the final kilometers. The second one, I'm going to bring you the entire stage. The third one, the entire stage as well. And then we'll end the episode there. And on 
two episodes time we are going to start with this big big mountain that I'll bring you the entire stage then this one that I'll bring you the entire stage as well following by this one and ending on a time trial a prologue that will follow Titlafort on it so that's the plan for the next two episodes so yeah this one this episode on the other hand is done and dusted and I hope you enjoyed it if you did drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell and leave me some comments down below thanks so much for watching my name is Titla I hope to see you next time for the start of the Giro di Adriatico bye bye and take care if you liked this video please like and subscribe also read the description below where you will find ton of useful information and links regarding the contents of this video.